So basically, you've seen the records that cops keep, and cops are a lot less likely to try and tread on people's rights when there's other armed Americans with them. So we figured it's about damn time that some, or at least I figure that it's about damn time some heavily armed rednecks stood with fellow citizens. And why are you protecting this store? Well, I mean, this wasn't exactly a yeah, specified we wanted, action. We, we we've been kind of so well, we just kind of ended up here. We, we've been moving around and just trying to see what see what's what without getting necessarily completely slapped by massive groups of people. Right. And uh, while we were walking, somebody right. mentioned that there were some guys at the back of us. Actually, wanted to know if they were over to buy something, and uh, they said that they're they're closed and they're defending their businesses. Oh yeah, Target's on fire. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. But and anyway, so we heard that we're like, well, we, we better we better kid up and go see if these guys need help. It turns out these guys are out here with machetes and shattered windows trying to keep looters out of the business because cops can't get in here. And so, you know, I figured before they were cops, they were just Americans. So here we are. Already out during the LA riots. Or during the LA riots. Collateral damage, I guess. They're protecting their own stuff. That's where you only got the term rooftop Korean. So bottom line, just for Floyd, and uh, I hope they stop looting at some point. If there are more of us, we could go stop them from looting, but it's just us four. Yeah, we, we definitely don't agree with the looting. Yeah, no, looting. But we do agree with the, the cause of the protest. Yeah, definite protesting. Two gentlemen, two uh, self described rednecks, standing with uh, rifles outside of a pawn shop right near, they could see the looting going on. And I think this will be unsurprising, but as I, as, as I last checked, uh, they, they, uh, prevented the store from being burnt out, destroyed, perhaps more violence occurring, individuals coming under risk. It's all it took. Two guys standing outside of it. Actually, I'm sorry. There were four of them. Pardon me in that video. Um, uh, Two of them self-described as as rednecks standing outside of a store saying that they're just going to help out and protect it. They're not going to allow looting, which is a terrifying thing, to destroy someone's business and burn it to the ground and perhaps engage there. There was violence against people. I mean, a woman in a wheelchair, for heaven's sake, was attacked by one of these angry mobs. Two guys standing outside prevent this from happening. Imagine if the cops were believed to be. Now, the thing about those two guys, the, the two uh, or I'm, and I keep saying two, they're the ones talking. There are four of them, actually four armed men. Um, I'm, I'm quite sure that if you threw a, a brick at one of their heads or you surrounded them and they felt in fear of their lives. They, they would use their weapons to defend themselves, and they would be right to do so. But the protesters know that they can throw rocks at cops. They can burn down stores. I said it again. Darn it. The rioters. See, this is what this is. So the, the media propaganda is so pernicious. I've been reading about protests in this morning when there's not it's not about protests. We're not even talking about protests. There's riots. These are riots. Have to use the. Uh, proper terminology but this is this is actually kind of an instruction in how the propaganda works you just you you read a word enough you see it enough and it seeps into your mind and even when you don't want to say it you end up saying it but this shows you that a couple of armed patriots just trying to help out their fellow citizen uh, can really step in and make a difference and they they were saying exactly what should be said they they think that what happened to george floyd was atrocious They support protests, but they don't support rioting and looting and the destruction of public property, the the threats against people burning down buildings. And unlike the cops in Minneapolis, these four men were willing to do something about it to actually help some people. Oh, look at that. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.